Oh hey internet, what is up? Welcome back to the Type QQ channel, and welcome back to our very first holiday-themed, more or less spooky Halloween-themed um, special for the channel. Uh, we're taking a look at 1917, an alien invasion DX, which I thought was kind of a gruesome horror type type shoot 'em up. So I figured, hey, what what the hell? Um, I guess we're a uh, sort of German woman, maybe a German soldier or scientist, um, taking on the uh, evil forces of an invading uh, alien army. So we're going to take a look at this. Um, I picked this up during um, the um, the Halloween sale on Steam, and I thought, hey, let's, let's, let's kind of do a one-off. Um, not necessarily really a... a, a a series per se but maybe who knows who knows I thought it'd just be creepy enough for uh, for all the uh, Halloween viewings out there where I thought this was a particularly gory and uh, bloody title um, and and rather cheap as well I think up until maybe November 1st I think is when the uh, the sale goes goes until I mean my god I, I know I talked about it on Twitter but the, uh, the Halloween sale like nearly like 30 or 40 percent of my whole my wish list was like discounted to just a couple bucks each so it was uh very hard to resist spending some money um so um so what we're going to do here um is not necessarily um try to one cc and call it goods um this game kind of has a sort of um infinite continues however <clears throat> You, the the uh, you have one life and then the, the level restarts. So we'll we'll take it that route. And here's the chess master, Uber Le Le Legender, Hershenbach. Yeah, good luck getting me to pronounce any of these names correctly. But there he goes. Pronunciation be damned. There goes his brains. So essentially, what. What we have uh, for controls, now that we're on the second level, right? You know, we have our arrow keys, that's the same as usual. We have our normal attack, which has been powered up to this sort of giant wide shot. And it's nearly like, yeah, I think it maybe not even nearly is, is like 100 degrees, you know, 180 degrees, just everything in front of us. We have alternative fire, which you sometimes see as that sort of fireball blast that you can also kind of, if you press, you know, alternative, your, your alt fire and down, you can turn all those blasts that would be around you straight forward and that's a devastating attack however as we get hit there and recover with our shield however we move awfully slow even slower than we what we have here so what we're, what we're essentially using right now is this sort of slow methodical you know heavy tank and using our alt fire makes us even slower um, but as you can see, um, we, you know, sometimes we do get hit here and there, but luckily the, the game is awfully generous with our shields that absorb the first hit. Um, on top of our you know primary and, and secondary fire, we have a sort of bomb called our Valkyrie. And then on the top left corner, you can see that below our score indicates how many bombs we have left. And boom, there goes the second level boss. So far, our 1cc intact, but... I'm gonna tell you, it won't for much longer. Level three, level three is our spike in difficulty and our first bastard level and bastard boss, but we'll make it through all the same. In fact, this is this is essentially our uh, uh, our our creepy hollow feed <laughs> as we credit feed this motherfucker until we're done. It's not so so bad, but um, um, yeah. We're, we're, we're essentially just going to be kind of one and done this thing. As, at least as best as we can. There's some levels that really, that, that really uh, give us some, some uh, challenge. But uh, as you can see, these sort of black and white flashing um, like brass or gold blocks, those are power-ups. However, um, our, our shot is up to maximum. Our shield, those um, once we already have a shield, it just gives us a point bonus. As well as the sort of floating metals as well, they give us a, a, a point bonus as well. Um, and then you find the keys to check out these moves, Jesus Christ. And these give us a combo meter, so we can uh, 
get some higher points. Here's a boss that really likes to add on some speed to his attacks, causing us to use our Valkyrie, but um, taking him down all the same. On to stage four. But yeah, um, for what it's worth, I hope everyone has a uh, awesome and exciting Halloween. You know, I, I suppose I, I would, you know, I should be responsible and say have a safe Halloween. But come on, it's a fucking holiday. You know, I think, I think if you're not being smart, you know, every other day of the year, I, you know, what's Halloween? You know, it's not a dangerous holiday. It's, it's just come on now, just. You know, like New Year's. Try not to be the dumbest person in the fucking world. Or Fourth of July, you know. Don't light a firecracker off your, you know, firework on your fucking head, huh? You know, other than that, have fun. Make it exciting, you know. But, yes. Halloween, probably one of my uh, more favorite um, holidays. Particularly, I like um, just how awkward it gets for um, really religious people. Because, because their awkwardness about how they should celebrate Halloween is directly mirrored of mine when it comes to celebrating Christmas. I'm like, uh, I guess we do this because of, and that's what everyone else is doing, but whatever. Brain fuck machine. We gotta make sure we kill this brain fuck machine, huh? I guess, I guess the boss is, this boss we have to blame immediately if should demonetize our video. Fuck you. There we go. Our first our first death, which is tallied on the top right of the screen as our mark of shame. Recovering that shield. With a, check out those moves. The moves, yo. Those moves. But no. Um, doing a... Well, don't look at those moves. No, doing a... Jesus Christ, we got mauled. Mauled. Doing a holiday special for Halloween. Um, it's pretty awesome. It makes me feel good. Um, it being my first holiday special, I suppose. Although I think I may have played... Uh, the Christmas shooting game last last Christmas. Although, I guess this is the first time I'm actually blabbing about a holiday instead of just loading up a video game about a holiday. Um, yeah, it just kind of seems fun. Taking a break from other things. Luckily we have some invulnerability frames out of... Uh, out of picking up a shield because it looked like we would have just lost it right again. Um, you know, there's one, there's a few, there's a few things that I could say that are kind of a little head scratching about this game. Although I enjoyed it, um, the music is not good, as you can tell. It's just this sort of weird synth that doesn't necessarily like fit a sort of like gory, you know. Um, Alien, I don't know, what do, you, what do you call this, like an old Cthulhu type of eldritch horror type thing? Cosmic horror? Now, fortunately, you look at, our, look at the damage our normal fire does, and it is not very great. However, however, our Valkyrie does kind of tip, tip the scale. Enough to splatter his brains right there. So just a couple deaths. On to stage five, I believe out of seven. So, oh, but here, here we are. This is the first one that really, well, there we go, right there. This is the first one that really um, posed a lot of difficulty. Um, and this is the first one with, I think, like environmental uh, hazards. Essentially, these large vines are something you, you actually, actually have to avoid. And some of these sort of clustered bad guys like that, you kind of have to destroy to get through. However, now we're like facing on the uh, the forces of, of of alien hell without a shield, 
And as, I, as you can see, I tried to use that Valkyrie, hoping that I'd be invulnerable during it so I can kind of skip over those vines, over that wall. Not the case. But there's a shield there. However, getting to it is a baffling mystery, considering you know we, we really don't have a way of shooting behind ourselves, except for our alternative fire, but I'm not so sure. I'm too confident about it. So the strategy is, is getting in here, getting this shield. However, it is kind of a clusterfuck. And uh, using our Valkyrie a bit earlier than I really would like. But yeah, this is the first sort of like Silver Surfer, you know, uh, level where fucking everything hurts you. Yeah, and even with your shield, don't touch the walls, don't touch the vines. Bizarre, don't you think? Like, I mean, granted, I suppose this is, you know, alien plant life, so there's no, you know, you can't expect what, you know, you know, you, you, you know, you can't say it, it shouldn't hurt you, you know, who knows, you know, it's completely foreign, but... It is bizarre that we can kind of take a blast from the boss and kind of be okay, but crashing into these uh, the, these vines uh, are instant death. One one white way plane tickets to destruction and and and, and hell. Almost, almost. Uh, and look at we have to kind of skate through that. But if there's one thing I do like is that the uh, the enemy bullets, although there is a lot of just craziness going on on screen, the enemy bullets are are uh, colored rather well. They're either pink or these big cyan, these big blues. So although you can see there's a lot of just just chaos happening you know you're you're pretty well um pretty well informed about what's going on how are we not dead i will never know and here we are on the on the uh this level boss the good thing is is that we have a couple shields on our left and our right as you can see, our, our primary fire does jack shit, but then when we want to actually do damage, we can't really move. But we are just getting pummeled. And if we can find a stationary place, that's where we want to be. If we can find like just a moment of of safety, you know, um, we can put our secondary fire on and and just really um, deal some damage. However. You know, doesn't really seem to be the case. And also we end up, you know, shooting our Valkyrie a bit too early, you know, in trying to recover a shield. Yeah, tricky stuff. This level is no joke. I mean, I, I think this level and one other were actually like the tough levels of the game with some of the later levels. Um, kind of a, kind of a cakewalk, kind of a breeze. But, yeah. Up to 10 deaths already, if you believe it. I mean, I kind of do. I mean... I, I, could, I could definitely see somebody 1cc in this game because there is a lot of shields. They're awfully generous with, you know, despite the fact that, like, one hit kills you, essentially, you know, and restarts your level. You know, they do give you a, you know, a shield, like, every every 10 feet or so. It seems like after every cluster of, like, challenging enemies, you know, they, they heal you up. You know, there was, we just picked up a shield and there's one just past that room as well. So, you know, I think it's... You know, this game looks a lot more sinister than it actually is. You know, like, oh shit, there's bullets everywhere, there's vines everywhere, there's no way I could survive. Like, yeah, you're probably right. But there's also, like, yeah, a shield right there to, to kind of, you know, so... So as much as this game looks very, um, threatening, I would say it's kind of player-friendly as well. You know, or maybe, maybe even it falls perfectly in that sort of, uh, player power trip where... 
you know, you're, you, you, you really can't believe you're in this fight still, but you are. You know, kind of like, kind of like that, where you're just like, shit, I must be a complete and total badass. Picking up those. So you do have a, a, a quick moment of seconds after she shoots that fast line. If you can get in a good spot after that line, before she fires the next, it seems to be kind of the where it's at. But you... As you can tell, you only can get a couple off, but a couple is all you need. And this attack seems to be a lot easier because it's slower. So. Although, it seems like the, the giant wall of death seems to be kind of uh, finding our faces all the same. However,. Yeah, the lack of speed in her attacks kind of paid off. Man, the, the sound on that started to really go... go real shitty. Stage six. Man, I apologize if it's coming through really badly, but yeah, the, the sound quality on this recording is not very good. For whatever reason, it just went really sort of like... really wavy and kind of disgusting sounding. I don't know, maybe it's a, a Halloween thing, right? We've just been possessed by the uh, glitchy audio audio demon. But yeah, this level has its challenges as well. Picking up that combo, but there it is, killed by the upside down crosses of demons on demons on the crucifix. Deaths up to 11. Um, Jesus Christ, 12. That didn't take very long. But now it's kind of... It's kind of... Um, made us want to kind of use our uh, uh, alternative fire to kind of uh, take out that first guy real quick. They do take a lot of damage. Now I guess that's one thing I really... You know, I, I, I could really gripe about is that... Oh, the enemies take a beating. Considering this is like full max, if this is this is if this is the very strongest, the very most uh, powerful our, our weapon gets, and these enemies still take this much of a beating, then it's kind of like, geez, come on now. Just a giant flood of of bullets there, knocking down this sort of eldritch door here. Using our Valkyrie to kind of clear away. I'm not sure if that's particularly the smartest move. I think I think if we can just kind of jump in there early and start causing damage, kind of like this, I think I think that's the way to do it. And you can see there's a pattern with the crosses as well, despite the fact that they're explosive. And I think this area is probably um, a bit more um, a bit more in need of our Valkyrie bomb than than the last area. Luckily, the uh, levels are a little on the short side, so it's although it's discouraging to get killed and start at the beginning. It's not the longest trek ever, you know. But yeah, um, I mean, there might be a game over. You know, I, I think there's, you know, there's infinite lives. You know, there's no continues. There's no sort of game over, start the game over. So it's, so it is kind of a cool, like, little, uh, 
you know, casual scum game where you can kind of, you know, get your ass spanked by aliens while you while you sort of survive from shield pickup to shield pickup. But, uh, you know, I guess there, there's also some challenge to keeping it within uh, a certain amount of lives to even just one life. Although, although that's, I think, um, pretty remarkable if you can pull that off. Well, that was pretty poor there. Not even attempting to dodge, we just kind of fell right into the vortex of bullets. Hey, now, now the sound sounds good? Okay. Well, uh, luckily we've, been, we've just been exercised by the uh, sound demon. I suppose that's that's what happens when you're falling through the layers of hell. You know, you come out through the other side and everything sounds pretty okay. We can go back and grab that shield. That's, that's it right there. But yeah, but, you know, to be completely honest, um, when it comes to like shmups and horror um, and sort of dark, bloody themes, like I'm, I'm you know, like, that's one of the uh, like subgenres I'm like really interested in. However, you know, having finding a uh, a horror game that like um, is honestly kind of creepy and scary, but also you know playable on YouTube to some regard without getting like you know. You know, without causing too much, you know, drama and getting your content, like, flagged for mature audiences or whatever. You know, I mean, it's a hard task. I mean, of course, you know, I would say, the, uh, you know, the most obvious one is, like, you know, play Death Smiles. But, you know, little girls playing Halloween, I mean, come on. Um, and also, we've played that a lot. Here we go with the... So, so the... So the ladies on each side, will, or if you deal enough damage, will give you a uh, shield pickup. So something to think about next time. But as I was saying, you know, trying to find a, uh, a creepy shop sometimes is a little difficult. Especially one that we haven't played. And one that I felt, you know, was actually kind of like horror-like. You know, that would, just wasn't themed like, you know, you know uh, Hot Topic goth, you know. Not saying Death Note, no, not Death Note, Death Smiles. Did I say Death Note the first time? I meant Death Smiles. My god. I may have said Death Note to my not, you know, as far as I know. But yeah, Death Smiles. <clears throat> you know, not saying that's particularly like Hot Topic goth, but it's certainly, you know, you know, I don't think I've, I felt one, one shiver on my spine when I was playing those games. Unless it's the character select screen and you find out some of the characters are like 11. <laughs> I'm not saying this is particularly creepy, but I think I think it's a it tries it, it's, its attempt is a little bit more uh, sincere than than Death Smiles, I suppose. All right, send that Valkyrie out, huh? There we go. Got us through a little bit. Took down a couple of these guys. hoping to deal damage to her quick before this boss fight. There it is. That's all we needed. Now we have to face the salesman. Under, under handler, der Garter. As we can only hope that's not a pair of balls sitting on his forehead. But you gotta say, these, these bosses look horrific. Makes you think whether they're aliens or demons, but Maybe a little bit of both. But yeah, slow attacks. Slow attacks I can handle all day. Was that a uh, level 3 boss with his... Well, 3 and 4, right? With the faster attacks. I mean, granted, I'm, I'm using the slow ship, so, so there's that. Stage 7. So there's 8 stages, actually, so... Buckle in for a couple more. 
trust not the liar's promise. Trust not the hypocrite's forgiveness. So yeah, there's some lore to it, so if you're into that, you definitely pause the video during those loading screens. Watch out for moving blocks as well. But I ain't got time for lore, you know. We get it. Oh shit, smashed into that. But we, 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 we get our lore, we need to... We need to kill everything that we see. And try not to be killed by uh, everything trying to shoot us. Picking up our shield there. And this is a particular, particularly interest level, interesting level with these, those giant squares and cubes moving across, kind of pushing you to be kind of uh, higher in the screen and playing a bit more aggressive, um, even if it's not necessary your, your particular style. Taking the L on that one just so we can kind of glide into the next shield. However. Didn't expect taking another piece of damage, like so. But hopefully we can kind of make it through all the same. I'm gonna miss out on that key, but... So far, so good. And certainly we're, 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 uh, we're due for another uh, shield pickup somewhere. There it is, just as we were, just as we were saying. Shield, combo. And a boss. Now that's a throne. Flesh Furrer Derfantost. He's an interesting little uh, character, huh? Something of a uh, Saturday morning cartoon character you wouldn't suspect seeing. I'm sure his little little demons on the side also give um, some shield pickups. I mean, I mean, can we can we, can we like just be real and say this is not an alien invasion of of, of our sort of sci-fi sort? This is certainly an alien invasion from the depths of hell. There we go, kill that motherfucker. I wonder, I wonder if it was some sort of localization or some sort of uh, you know, it feels like you know it's trying to uh, accommodate for the uh, comic book authority, you know. Where he's like, oh, no, no, they're, they're not demons, they're aliens. Like, for real? They sure do like their upside-down crosses for being from the planet Neptune onto the final stage. As we come across the... Uh, sort of this Ava god out in space. I mean, I suppose now that we're fighting them in outer space, you know, sure, they're aliens, but, like, you could have fooled me. The abandoned deity for Bont or Gott. It looks like he's got a lot of buddies there to give, him, give us shields. But really, I am not all that worried about um, slower attacks, you know? You know, we have that, we have a, I mean, look at that damage piling up. I mean, this is the, the you know, the, uh, is he the final, final boss? I think he might be. And we're just, you know, if we're in a nice space, we're tacking on that damage like you wouldn't believe. Finally getting hit, but using one of the three shield tokens available. And certainly this is a great character to use against this boss because he's giving us some like really nice bowling alleys to just to beat him down with and, and that's exactly what we want. We want to stay stationary just to shoot those uh, fireballs right down, uh, right down his gutter. And there it is. Paint, paint the galaxy with his brains. Congratulations, you are a true bullet hell warrior. Well, damn. The end. Also a couple paragraphs to read if you, were, if you wish. 
You've also unlocked the almighty Sturm Decker. Beat the game with your new rocket based based plane to get the flesh plane. Damn, so we might. Who knows? I suppose if we get a lot of people screaming and shouting saying, hey, keep playing this game, we certainly will. But no, I think for the most part it's it's good to just kind of get this, you know, spooktastic, you know, special out there. It was fun all the same. And also uh, engraving our initials into the uh, cosmos here as well. And there we are. Alright guys, it, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, do all that stuff. And we'll come back and play some more games in the future.